As designers, creating parts, assemblies, and drawings is only a fraction of the work needed to make sure a design's done. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use interference and collision detection to easily validate the spatial relationships you've set up in your SOLIDWORKS assembly. This knuckle kit system looks ready to go for production, but before I sign off, I need to check if there are any interferences that may be a problem for production. From the evaluation tab of the command manager, I can launch interference detection. Within the property manager, I'm prompted for the components I want to check, what components can be excluded, and multiple additional options such as creating a folder specifically for fasteners. When ready, selecting Calculate will show all these interferences. This insight is particularly useful. Some interferences, like on my bushings, are intentional to ensure a press fit. Others highlight problems with the design that I need to correct before sign off. Now that I've corrected my problem interference, I want to create a sensor to keep track of that critical design misstep. Again, from the evaluation tab of the command manager, I can launch sensor. With the property manager, I can see many types of sensors that I can create for simulation data, mass properties, dimensions, measurements, proximities, costing data, and my area of concern, interference detection. Here, I'm gonna narrow the scope of the evaluation to only the parts that I know are the potential problems. Once created, it's a constant check that will flag and prompt me if I've tripped the sensor. Best of all, since sensors are saved with the assembly, I won't need to remember to make that check again if there's design changes in the future. Since this is a mechanical arm mechanism, the last feature I wanna evaluate on my design is collision during my full range of motion. To make sure I don't have any colliding parts, I need to navigate to the Assembly tab of the Command Manager and select Move Component. From the Options Group box, I can select Collision Detection, and I can check between all components, or select specific components by selecting These Components. Using the option These Components is often desirable as it narrows the scope of the evaluation, leading to much better performance. I also prefer the option Stop at Collision and Highlight Faces, which really help locate any potential problems. As we see here, my guard collides during the full range of motion of my hydraulic cylinders. Luckily, I'm working on this design with my team on the 3D Experience platform, and I can see there's a newer version of the guard available. So after swapping out to the newer version, I can see my collision problems are taken care of. Interference detection, sensors, and collision detection are only a few of the many powerful design validation tools in SOLIDWORKS. Next time you're ready to sign off on your design, be sure to run the right evaluation tools to validate first. And be sure to watch the rest of the videos in our series on assemblies. Next video will cover tips and tricks for your bills and materials, and stick around for the last video to see assembly performance tips and tricks.